Hi, Modern Marketing uh, Spark Facebook page. I know you said Modern Marketing Club then. Hello, hello, how is everybody? Welcome, welcome to this Tuesday's q and A. I just realized I've got my bits hanging out. That is not good. <laughs> so today we're gonna to be talking about organize and optimize your social media. So hi there, I'm Cassie Hicks from Modern Marketing Spark. I also run the Modern Marketing Club, which is my Facebook group. And something that comes up a lot in my coaching program, How to Shine and Profit Online, in the Modern Marketing Club, and just when I'm working and talking to clients generally, and in, I was running a workshop last week, training workshop on social media, um, is this feeling of overwhelm that people have when they think about social media. And even I was in a meeting this morning, and when you're looking at all the things that you can do to market your business on social media, it can feel really overwhelming because there are, there's 50 things you could do, but none of us have time for that, including me, and I do this full time for a living. So what I wanted to do today is share with you my social media action planner. I want to show you the, how that works, and also talk a little bit about how you can streamline your social media for your business, make it, break it down into manageable pieces, and also answer any Q and A. Now, I know I've got a number of people coming across from the Modern Marketing Club, so I will make sure you uh, post in the comments so I can say hello when you get here. So let's start with the Social Media Action Planner. Now this is actually a, a document that you can download, but let me talk you through it um, and I'll give you the link. So if you want to download it, it you need to go to mmspark.com forward slash SMAP, Social Media Action Planner. And why have a social media action plan. It might sound, sound obvious, but the reason to have a social media action plan is because it's a really, really powerful way to streamline what you're doing. Because one of the things that people always ask me too is how can I spend my time on the things that work best for my business? So first of all, you have to know what those things are, don't you? And what I would say is to carve out, if you can, 15 to 30 minutes a day for social media. Now, some of you might think, oh, that sounds like a big time commitment. And maybe it is, but if you're really serious about your business and you've got any online community at all, then you have to be prepared to spend some time on social media, finding you uh, leads, doing that outreach, engaging with the community that you've got. So 15 minutes a day for something that's really, really gonna be key to your business shouldn't be a stretch. If you can do a bit more than 15 minutes a day, brilliant. If you can't, do what you can. But consistency is the key here, so why this action planner works really, really well. Now, what are the consequences of not having an action plan? This is when people feel overwhelmed. This is when you know that you should be on social media, but either you put it off because you, oh, hi, I've got some new, new viewers. You either put it off because you aren't quite sure what to do or what's gonna be effective, or what happens sometimes is that you try various things and because you're throwing mud against the wall without a, a strategy and a plan behind what you're doing, sometimes things may work and unfortunately other times they won't. And it can be quite disheartening, can't it? And I know as well, people put a lot of time sometimes into certain uh, activities on social media and then nothing really happens or they build up a following, but that following doesn't convert. So I'm gonna be running a webinar on how you build your following up in a way that you're gonna get engagement and people will actually want to work with you and have conversations and, and become your customers and clients. And that's really uh, the ultimate goal, isn't it? But what are the positive consequences? So the positive consequences of having an action plan, like the one I'm about to show you, is that you can actually generate a 24 seven pipeline of leads from social media. So you don't ever have to worry about where your new business is going to come from if you keep feeding the funnel. And that does mean you've got to spend the time on social media. But if you spend the time on social media and you see that leads are coming through and you are filling your pipeline with potential new business, then it makes sense, doesn't it? Then that, that's time well spent. You also want to make sure you're spending your time on activities that find very targeted, targeted prospects. So rather than just going on Twitter and uh, putting out a few tweets and hoping that maybe somebody that's interested might see one of your tweets, 
need to actually be a bit more strategic about it and my the plan I'm going to show you is going to show you how to do that. Spending time on social media in the right way is also going to position you as an authority so you can showcase your expertise and you will attract business because when people see that you're the leader in your field, however small that field may be, it might be a local field or it might be a very narrow niche, as long as you're very clear on who you're targeting and you position yourself in the right way, people are going to come and seek you out and that's really, really powerful. And lastly, you're going to create a vibrant community, an online community of raving fans and you'll get those referrals. So it's really lovely when you don't have time to go all the face to all the Facebook groups, but when somebody needs what it, your service, what it is you offer, you get tagged and recommended. Now that's what you want. That's the absolute um, holy grail, really, of social media, isn't it? That other people recommend you. Because how powerful is that? If you're looking for somebody to help you with the service, you're looking for a photographer or a graphic designer, or I'm just talking to someone that runs a skip company this morning. We need a skip. And three people or two people, even one person, recommend somebody locally, you're much more likely to go and talk to that person than someone that's promoting themselves on social media. And we've all seen, you know, we've all seen people doing that. So what I suggest you do, here is the social media action planner. Download the free planner, which is at mmspark.com forward slash SMAP, which stands for Social Media Action Planner. And what I suggest you do, this sounds really a bit funny actually but set a timer for 15 minutes so this is the Pomodoro method we set a timer for 15 minutes and what I want you to do is to work through the items on this list so that you don't miss anything out first thing to do on social media now I'm assuming this is you're on one particular platform so you might be on LinkedIn you might be on Facebook or you might be on Twitter first thing to do every day is to check your notifications now, if someone's engaged with you, they might have left a message or a comment or liked something or retweeted, you need to acknowledge that. So don't spend your time going out always looking for new, new business and you've got people there who are part of your community that are engaging with you and you're completely ignoring them. And it, it sounds such a no-brainer, but it's just, it's such a basic thing to do. So that should only take a minute or so. So you just go th with through your notifications, acknowledge anyone that needs to be acknowledged, reply to anything that needs to be re replied to. Then the second thing is you want to be posting your own content. Now I don't mean promotional content necessarily, that should only be one in five or one in ten of your posts should be promotional. But what I'm talking about is posting valuable content. So it might be a blog post, it might be some training, it might be tips, it might be a motivational quote, it might be a question to get engagement going, um, it could be a video, it could be live streaming like I'm doing today, um, you could be sharing links. I found this fantastic little um, tool the other day which takes out the background behind pictures and I put that into my Facebook group this morning because I thought it was such a handy little tool and people love stuff like that. It's very quick and it's a free little tool and people you know there's been a lot of response to that so try and post something every single day that's relevant to your business the other thing that you can post is a trend so um, even if you're using Facebook or LinkedIn uh, you can still I always have a look at Twitter and look at the Twitter trends and see what's trending and if it's a special day today or if there's something of note a big event or uh, a big uh, cause or issue or news topic that everybody's talking about because it is that's it's worth posting about that and particularly if you can relate that to your business in some way so I will always have a look at Twitter and then it might be that I go back into my Facebook group and say do you know it's um, clear your desk day today here's some ways to clean up your website you know just for example something like that um, and then the third thing to do every day this is, we're still within our 15 minutes a day here is to go and find some really, really viral content. So you want your social media post to be a really nice mixture of your valuable content. Yes, you can put your offers and your promotions in there as well, but you also want to look for really, really viral content. Oh, hi, Tanya. So what I do is 
when you go into your pages feed for example in Facebook is I'm always looking for certain things so either posts that really pop out or if other people are posting on hot topics of the day or particularly at the moment videos I'm always looking for really viral videos and there's quite a few um, sites with videos at the moment and again if you can find something that's really relevant to what you do and it might be something funny it might be something you want to, to comment on or give an extra an expert opinion on um, then that would be the third thing to do so if you just do those three things every day for f in your 15 minutes and it might be that one day you spend a little bit more time posting maybe you've got some new content that you want to share or you want to put a do a live stream we want to put a video up so that that would you'd be spend most of your 15 minutes doing that and less the time you might just quickly check your notifications and quickly have a look and see what else is out there it might be that you want to find viral posts and because on Facebook um, you can save posts now what I'll do sometimes is I'll spend a bit of time if I've got a few minutes between meetings or something uh, going through Facebook through the groups I know and the pages I know that have really good content and I'll just bookmark and save a number of posts and I think right I'll go back and share those when I need some content so what I suggest you do if you uh, use the action planner here is you can actually plan out your days as well so if you're a member of um, certain groups that so probably likely to be uh, either Facebook groups LinkedIn groups or it might be Twitter chats you'd schedule them into the calendar so for example um, here in Hertfordshire where, where I'm based in the UK on a Monday evening from 8 to 9 we have a Twitter chat called Hearts Hour hashtag Hearts Hour so I would schedule that in as part of my social media marketing on a Monday and that happens to be uh, in that hour in the evening um, Tuesday in my Facebook group is Top Tip Tuesday so I'm going to schedule in that I want to share a, a tip on a Tuesday so it might be a tip that's in a blog post or a video or it might be a, a quick live stream that I do and so on during the week Friday tends to be fun Friday um, and again um, there are different uh, trends and things so for example sometimes on a Thursday you get throwback through it Thursday is a, is a hashtag that's quite popular on Twitter uh, Facebook and Google Plus as well if you're using Google Plus so that might be something again you want to put into your um, into your calendar here it might be something that you want to schedule in uh, every week and don't forget to schedule posts you'll notice when you look at the social media action planner that this actually has seven days on it because social media doesn't just run Monday to Friday surprise surprise and actually it might you might think oh gosh it's bad enough I've got to do this Monday to Friday but actually one of the busiest times on social media is the weekends because guess what people aren't working which is why as well it's quite busy on social media uh, in the evenings so if you have a look at when your community is most active online you'll probably find if they're working people it will be lunchtime in the evenings and generally you will see for example Sunday nights are a really good time to post newsletters and blog posts and social media posts because people are getting ready for the week they've had a nice weekend people are relaxed and social media is a fun place to go to see what's happening so don't forget when you look at your social media action planner that um, it is seven days a week obviously you can schedule some posts so you don't have to be doing your 15 minutes a day so my challenge to you is try and spend 15 minutes a day to organize your social media use the social media action planner there's a whole lot of tips down here on different things that you can do and I've also put in here weekly and monthly maintenance so what you might want to do is put in your calendar maybe once a month to for example update your cover image so I'm not saying you need a completely new cover image every month but it might be that you've got a book coming out or an event coming up so maybe you want to add that onto your Facebook cover image using something like Canva uh, post on new blog post so hopefully you're doing that as you go along but if not um, every week or every couple of weeks just check in and think okay yeah I've put a new video on YouTube or I've got a new blog post I need to schedule that into this week's um, social media posts also um, here's a tip for you a really good idea when let's say for example you've published a blog post is to make sure you you post it more than just a couple of times so what people tend to do is they say right I've just published a blog post on on Monday and I'll post it 
out on social media, you know, this week. And then what they do is they don't, they don't repurpose that post again and it just sort of goes into the dust. But what you can do, I mean, I've got blog posts from three years ago that I still recycle because they're evergreen. So no need to, um, you know, blog posts don't die just because you post them out on Facebook once or twice. And of course, with Twitter, you can keep reposting. And same with LinkedIn. So you can use the planner to actually you say, right, you know, every Thursday I'm going to re promote an old blog post. So maybe I'm going to go back two weeks or four weeks so that you rotate that content. And then if you want to, you can take this planner once you've plotted out your posts for the week ahead and you can schedule them with something like Hootsuite or Buffer or schedule them straight into the platforms. Also um, put on here to, I do this once a month, is to check your insights and your analytics. So have a look at your Twitter analytics, have a look at your, if you're using any scheduling tools, Buffer or Hootsuite, use the analytics there. Look at your Facebook insights and just have a look and see what's working and what's not working. And when you see the spikes, actually in Facebook, the spikes go sideways uh, for what's working, um, you know to do more of that. And don't forget to share content from your influencers. So if, you've, if you're following certain people on Facebook or LinkedIn, you might be in their groups, um, you might have a list on Twitter with influencers that you follow, make sure that they're part of your um, social media plan as well because that can get you a lot of traction and also maybe get you noticed if you would like to perhaps speak on someone else's podcast, it's a really good idea to be an active member of their community before you go and say, hey, would you like to interview me on your podcast or put yourself forward? So again, you might want to use the social media planner to schedule that in to actually, what I do is I schedule in the groups that I belong to and I try and rotate between the Facebook groups that I'm in to go and spend time, not just posting my stuff, but to actually go and answer questions and talk to people and uh, engage in the group uh, as much as I can in, in the sort of time that I've got. So I hope that's been helpful. Make sure you download the Social Media Action Planner at mmspark.com forward slash S-M-A-P. Um, and hi to those of you that are here. Um, I'd love to know who you are, so do type your name so I can say hello. Any questions on getting organised on your social media? If you get organised on social media, you'll optimise your social media. Because you can see by just doing, even if you just use two or three of those tips, 15 minutes a day, boom you're going to see a marked difference in your social media. So just it's a little bit of discipline and having a bit of a plan behind it. So I'm almost, um, time is almost up. Any questions? I can't see any questions at all at the moment, which is really unlike you guys. Normally there's people asking questions. So don't be shy. Um, I would love you to engage and let me know what... Oh, hi Tanya, hello. <laughs> um, any questions on organising and optimising your social media? Yeah, reposting old posts is definitely something to do. What I do actually is when I'm putting together my social media action plan for myself and for clients, we've got a content library. And what we quite often do, some, some posts and some topics can be seasonal so we might look back and say, what did we do for that client a year ago? What, what, is, what are the trending topics? You know, Valentine Day, Valentine's Day is coming up or, you know, we started something that was leading up to Easter or Mother's Day or whatever it might be. Um, doesn't mean to say you've always got to start with a blank piece of paper and definitely worth looking at your influences and looking at the trends as well. So if there aren't any questions, I'm going to finish there. I don't want to go too much over time. I'm going to repost this in the Modern Marketing Club. Oh, hi, Caroline. Hello. Um, yeah, the link for the Action Planner is mmspark.com forward slash SMAP, which stands for Social Media Action Planner. And what I'll do um, when I finish this and it's gone onto the page, I'll put that link into the top of the post so you've got it there. And do let me know if you've got any questions. You can come over to the Modern Marketing Club. And I will see you there. Thanks so, so much, guys. Take care. Bye.